Good morning, good morning. Whenever y'all watching this, it's what time is it? It's like 10 20 right now for me. Um, just in the car chilling. I was, uh, man, I woke up today just a different type of mindset. I'm telling you, y'all have to get into entrepreneurship because you are able to develop skills. I don't know if, if y'all would like this, but when I was working my job, every single morning, I always used to have an idea on something. But when I got back home, it was completely fried because I'm so burnt out from my job and I'm so worried about what they got going on and how to build this, the problems they're having. It completely like wipes me out of the things that I want to indulge in, whether that's information or act, taking an action. You know what I mean? I had so many different ideas uh, just early morning. Just show you something, man. You, when you up in the morning, move on a whole nother frequency. I really wanted to talk about like the power of self and developing that person because uh, I was listening to 19 Keys this morning. He just basically talking about how the environment really has control over us, even if you don't understand it. As if we are cy cyborgs, because it's crazy even to say this, because exactly where you are put, the things that you grew up in, the people that you talk to was all in a sense of program, right? Because when you are a child, you just, you latch onto things that you see, that you hear, and because when you're on that part of your life, you are building those foundations of Okay, how my confidence level, discipline, all these things, what is good, what is bad, and they all are just meshed up together, right, and to create the person that you are today. And obviously, the older you get, the more experiences that you have, and it can, you know, make you a better person or make you a less of a better person, you know what I mean? And ended up committing things negatively just by the environment that you were raised in. So that, that's kind of a huge thing when it comes to a lot of crime rates in the hood because you are boxed into a cage with your environment. The things that you see on a daily basis lead you to those actions, you know what I mean? So, uh, when I say just mastering self, really finding out who you are, and I know it may be tough for a lot of people, um, but I think just one of the biggest things for me is just to get away, get getting away from the environment that initially programmed you in the first place. So um, <clears throat> you may be right now just you grew up, you went to college, and you're working your job right now, and you are living wherever, like you live in an apartment, whatever it may be. Um, you grew up in a system, you grew up in a sense of a program and it felt, felt, it led you to this, to this point right now where you were in your life. Um, and I'm not discouraging God's calling on my life because God, you know, God is the ultimate healer. But when it comes to different levels of school system that you went to, your parents and all these things come from your programming. You know what I mean? So you are in this space right now, your life, wherever you may be because of the sense of that program. So the great thing about traveling, why I think traveling is so huge, it allows you to get that rest. It allows you to get that break from your consistent day to day. I see just the level of creativity. I see the level of just open mindedness that I'm having right now with me just being an entrepreneur and not inside of a nine to five job. Going outside of your daily schedule, going to travel wherever it may be, uh, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, um, Bali, that's one big one on my list. Going to California, Los Angeles, whatever, wherever it may be, just going into a whole nother different routine, a whole nother different setting that you are not accustomed to. It's a complete shift in your whole daily routine and in your whole matrix. It's a whole nother different actions because you are doing different things on a daily basis. Not having to think of the future thing of how about I gotta go to work in the morning or whatever it may be. You just think it with the open mind and living in the now instead of in the future. So it completely cultivates your mind into a place where you are learning yourself, you are having personal growth, you are having, it's just so many things are flowing through you when you just hop out that schedule, you hop out that, you know, that programming, which I think are very, very important. And I think that's just leading me to become the man I am today because I'm more exposed than somebody who may stayed in the same programming and haven't got outside of that, right? You, we grew up in this city, in this town, or this big city, whatever it may be, and you just so indulge into the city activities, the city schedule, where that's your normal, but you are so attached to that schedule, you don't know what it's like to, you don't know what it's like to go over there and, you know, go go to a beach and wake up in the morning and go ride a, uh, you know, a moped down downtown of a, a different city you've never been to. All these things, right? All these things are just... They are shifters within you because it tests a whole nother different side of you, you know, uh, but that's pretty much I wanted to say just about traveling.
Whenever y'all receive something in this video, may God continue to bless y'all, man, and allow y'all to see y'all true selves, right? And to be able to find your true self. When you're able to find your true self, I pray that you do because it changes things for around you. Now you really know what you want out of life. You're not just staying with somebody because, you know, um, you, you're scared to be alone. Like you are falling within your passions, within your life. Right. And you were doing God's works, helping people and doing all these things as well. But, man, I love y'all. God bless y'all. And um, I'll see y'all for the next video. Go.